Hello everyone. I am Jessica, your mentor for this video series on Scratch. I will be guiding you to get started with Scratch, familiarize you with the Scratch editor and its cool features, and after that, you and me together will create some simple and fun projects. Now, as you all know, we humans communicate with each other using languages like English, Hindi, and Marathi. But ha have you ever wondered how we communicate with computers? Yes, we also require a language to communicate with computers. And the languages that we use to communicate with computers are called as programming languages. Now, in this session, I will introduce you to a block-based programming language, which is called Scratch. Suppose if you want to go from your house to the market to buy some food, then you will need to follow certain directions to reach your destination, that is the food truck in the market. Now, these directions can be as simple as follows, like take a right first, first right from the gate, then go 100 meters straight, then take a right again and you have reached the supermarket. Likewise, when you want a computer to perform, perform some task, the computer also requires certain steps or directions in order to complete the task. These steps or directions are said to be programs. Now, let's see how we can get Scratch on our system. Scratch can be used over the internet or offline as well. Let's see how we can use both versions. To download Scratch on your system, first open your browser and click on the first link that you see. Now, the wonderful thing about Scratch is that it is available both online and offline. So, let's see how you can access the online version of Scratch. Once you have the Scratch homepage on your desktop, you can cl click on the Create button to see how you can create Scratch projects using the online version. The online version and the offline version Lay a layout of the scratch editor is the same. You can see first you are provided with the tutorials on how you can uh, use this use scratch to create programs. So this is with the online version. Let's go back and see how we can get the offline version on your system. To get the offline version, scroll down and click on the download link. Then select the system OS system. So if you are having a Windows operating system, then you need to select the Windows option. If you are having the Mac book then you need to select the mac os option and similarly the other two options which sub which are sufficient for you so since i have the windows system i'll click select the windows option and i'll click on direct download you'll be asked to download the scratch 3.22 exe so first you need to save this on your system next we'll open this and click on run. This will start the installation of your Scratch software. 
and click on install. You can see currently my Scratch software is being installed. Once installation is finished, is done, click on finish. Now let's see and get familiar with the layout of this editor. First, you can see there's this stage, this white space. This white space here is called as stage. The stage is where the sprite is placed. You can see this cat. This is called as a sprite. Sprite are nothing but actors which perform certain actions based on the instructions you give them in the coding area or the scripts area. Now you can add multiple sprites to your project using the choose a sprite icon and selecting a sprite from this beautiful library of sprites. As you can see, the selected sprite has some attributes. This is called as the sprite info. Here, you can see the name of the sprite, the current position and of the sprite, which is in terms of X and Y. Then whether you want to show or hide this sprite on the screen, that is, if currently it is shown, and when you click on this, the sprite will be hidden. When you click on show, it will show the sprite on the stage. Then the size of the sprite, which you can change it to any value you want. The default is always 100. Then the direction of the sprite. You can change the direction of the sprite by just clicking on this and selecting the direction. You can see now the sprite is beetle sprite is facing upwards then you can also give beautiful backdrops to your projects using the choose a backdrop option isn't it doesn't it make your project look beautiful next we'll come back to the code tab costume tab and the sounds tab. Now, let me just brief you through the functions of the of these three tabs. The code tab contain, contains, as you can see, a list of blocks. These blocks, this block palette contains blocks which are color, which, which of different categories, which are color coded. These blocks help you to give instructions to your sprites. Then we have the costumes tab, which show you the different costumes of a sprite. As you can see, the sprite one has two costumes. You will learn more about these in our projects. Then the beetle has only one costume. You can use these tools to manipulate the color of the sprite or change its shape. Let's see how you can change the color of the sprite. You can make your sprites as colorful as you want. You can, to undo the changes that you have done, just click on the undo button. Next, coming to the sounds tab. You can add sounds to your project using the sounds tab. Currently, there is only one sound in our in project. 
Now let's come back to the codes tab and see the different blocks used. The different categories of the blocks in Sprite in Scratch are the motion block. The motion block help you move the sprites from one position to another. Like, let's take it with an example. The move 10, ste 10 steps block will move the beetle, beetle sprite 10 steps forward. So if I click on this block, you can see the blue beetle sprite is moving by some steps. Next, we have the looks, me looks menu. The looks menu, the blocks in the looks menu help you to change the looks of the sprites. And say, let's say, if I want to change the color of the sprite, then I can use this block to change it. The sound, coming to the sound menu. The blocks in the sound menu are used to add sounds to the project and also you can give effects to your sound. Let's see this by an example. When this block is placed, it will play a pop sound. Next is the events menu. The blocks in the events menu are the starter block, contain starter blocks when you are coding a sprite. These blocks, when placed uh, in the code, uh, these blocks trigger events which run the script. Next, we have the control tab. In the control tab, we have forever loops, conditional blocks, which help you to code your sprite to perform certain actions when some condition happens. Next is the sensing block. The sensing menu has blocks which help the sprite to detect other sprites, detect colors in the project, and also to take user input. Coming to the operators menu. The operators menu has blocks which help you perform mathematical operations. Next is the variables menu. The variables menu help you define variables which can be used to store data such as scores for the game. Let's see how you can run your program once you are done with coding the sprites. So to run your program or to test your program, you need to click on the go button to test your program. The stop button will help you to stop the execution of your program. Next, you can also see this editor in various views, such as the presenter view. Then if you want to run your game or project in full screen mode, you can select the full screen control option in Scratch. Also, there is the file menu, which you can see. The file menu is used to create new projects or you can load your open or load or open your already saved projects from your system and you can also save your projects to your computer continue watching to see in the next video how we can create a new project in in scratch